Okay, welcome back to the uh, blog tutorial. Um, it occurred to me while the last video was uploading that I could just copy this query into phpMyAdmin um, and check it for syntax, which I did and it worked, which I'm also just showing you. So we get zero rows, which means that the query is, at least in terms of syntax, it's correct. Which is good. Yes. Right, uh, moving on quickly, uh, what we want to do next is loop over this query query result and put the data into an array which we can then return. So we're going to use a while loop as usual. Row equals MySQL fetch a sock. Um, posts is not equal to false to do some things. Use the right type of bracket. Um, what we want to do is add a new um, value to this rows array, which we do using this syntax. And what we want to add is another array. So we define an array, bring that down a few lines, which is acceptable. Some people don't like it for some reason, but it's fine. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like another block, except you use different brackets and this array irrelevant anyway um, what, uh, basically the syntax for this is the array function can take an unlimited number of parameters um, each one either specifies a value by itself or the key in the value to specify the value you just like specify a value <laughs> like so but you can also specify a key by key and then this sort of that thing it's got a name I usually say pointing to so the key is pointing to the value. That's probably wrong. Uh, that's just because of the arrow sort of shape of it. So the array that we're going to define is the ID, which is going to be equal to the row ID, the title, which is going to be equal to the row title. There is a reason for this way of doing it, by the way, which I'll get to when we get to comments. Um, the preview, preview, which is going to be equal to row preview. The user, which is going to be row user. I'm guessing you're getting the pattern by now. The date, which is row date. Okay, now the interesting ones. Total comments. Oh. Everything has to be lined up neatly. Otherwise, it's annoying. Um, this is going to be defined as something. And we're also going to add the last comment, which is going to be done defined as another something. Um, the problem we have is that um, if there are no comments, the count function will return null because there are no you're not giving it any data to count the same applies for max no the same applies yeah the same applies for max um and then you give you pass null on to date format which itself then returns null because uh, you're giving it an invalid this bit <laughs> technical term um so what we need to do we need to check if the row total comments is equal to null and if it is we want to just define this as zero and if it's not we want to define it as the total number of comments that we got we're going to do that using this ternary operator uh, it's sort of like a shorthand if statement ish um, I've got a video on logic so go and watch that if you don't know what I'm doing here uh, the condition is this bit in brackets so we're going to just do row total whoops comments is equal to null and if it is we want to do zero and if it isn't we want to use row total comments there is also I believe a shorthand for this um, which doesn't require one of these but it was only introduced in PHP 5.3 so not widely supported as of yet unfortunately there's nothing wrong with doing this anyway this is fine <laughs> Um, okay, uh, the, this is 
Um, this next one is going to be very similar. We're going to check if row last comment is equal to null. If it is, we're just going to return never. See, that's where that comes from. And if we if it's not, we are going to use row last comment. Okay, so that's pretty much it for getting the data. Then we just need to return it. Turn rows. There we go. Done. That's that ridiculous function defined. Um, we can just check the PHP syntax because our um, our page includes it. So if I just hit refresh, you don't get any errors, which is good because that means that the um, well, no syntax errors. So yeah, it's, it's hopefully there's no there's no nothing wrong with the code. It's just we haven't tested it for functionality yet. Okay, this function is infinitely simpler. Um, Unfortunately, it also involves two queries, one for the post data and one for the comments, because you can't join two tables that have an odd number of rows. Efficiently, anyway. You can do it where you would have to select the um, post data like multiple times for each comment, which I didn't really like the idea of, because it, they could potentially be massive, so that would be a huge amount of extra traffic. So, anyway, um, we're going to just, again, define uh, cast the post ID to an integer like so to prevent SQL injection and then we're going to define define another SQL variable which we are in which we are going to do a select query and we are going to select the post title title as the title the post body as the body the post user as the user. Seeing another pattern appearing here. Post date as the date. Um, we're going to be selecting these things from the posts table, not the a post table, um, where the post ID is equal to the post ID we defined or got from the function. Okay, so that's it for the SQL. See, much simpler indeed. Um, and then we can define the post variable as the query query result. So MySQL query query SQL, like so. Um, and then we are going to fetch this result. Post equals MySQL fetch a sock post. See, now we will have an array that contains a key for this, a key for this, a key for this, so four keys and four values, which will be the values from the table. The table, that, that single row. Um, and what we're going to do now is define a, another key, which is post comments. And that's going to be equal to the get comments function and the post ID. Get comments function will be defined in this comments.inc file as we mentioned in the first part of the code anyway. Um, so that's how we're going to do that. Unfortunately it does involve calling MySQL query twice but there isn't a slight, there isn't really a better alternative as far as I can see. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do here is just return, turn post and that's how that was going to work. Okay, so the next part uh, next function we're going to do in this video is the add post function. Um, we need to prevent, uh, we need to protect ourselves from SQL injection from each of these variables and XSS, XSS injection attacks. I should say not injection really. Basically, you want to prevent people like entering HTML code. Like, say if someone posted a title that was this, for example, title. Um, and you inserted that directly into the database, when you then get this and then display it on the page, it will just display as this, but in bold, which you don't want. You don't want people to be able to add their own HTML, because that opens up um, possibilities for attacks with malicious JavaScript and all kinds of terrible things you don't want. So, um, what we do here is 
apply the MySQL real escape string function and the HTML entities function. What that function does is it, cre it uh, converts any symbol like that or this, which is like the opening of a HTML tag, into its HTML entity, which for the less than sign is that. So that won't be um, processed by the browser as HTML, it'll just appear as plain text, it will appear as that on the screen. So we're going to use the MySQL real escape string function. Um, I'm just going to quickly copy this because I get very bored of typing it over and over again. Um, and we're going to use that on the result of HTML entities. Entities. Wait. Entities. Um, entities. Yeah, HTML entities. Okay, good. Um, on the name variable. In fact, I'm going to copy the whole thing. Just paste it three times. One for the title. And one for the body. Um, for the body, um, we want to also convert any new lines into line break characters, line break um, tags. You know, um, these, they cause a line break in HTML. So um, we're going to use the nl2br function, which is luckily provided by PHP. Um, and we're going to do it here, nl2br. The reason we do it there and not on the, like here, the reason we don't do it there is because MySQL real escape string function escapes new lines, line breaks, which um, would mean that this function has no effect. So that's why we do it there. Okay, so that is protecting ourselves from SQL injection and XSX, XSS attacks. That's that, if you can't understand what I'm saying because my stupid voice. So the next bit is fairly trivial. We just need to do the query to insert the data into the table insert into posts column names which is post user post title and post body as well as post date didn't forget that one on list values are going to be string 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 now um, the now function is a MySQL function basically it returns the current date so we're inserting the result of this now function into this column and these three strings are going to go into these three columns this first string is the name variable that we defined Oops, get my brackets in the right place this next one is the title this final one is the body so that's the um, add post function complete. This isn't going to return any values because it just performs an action. I mean you can check, I suppose you could check if the query returned false or not, but it's, it's pretty, it's never going to. It's sort of good practice to have your functions always return true if they succeed or false if they fail, if they don't spe specifically return any value. But I'm not going to do that here because it involved another query to check if it was inserted properly. Um, just check the syntax of what we've written so far by reloading our page so we don't get any errors, which is good, that means it's working. So I'm going to end this tutorial here, this video here, not tutorial. Um, the tutorial will continue in the next part where I will code the comments functions and possibly some, if not all, of the pages, which might be incredibly ambitious. But let's see how far we get. Okay, uh, join me in the next part, please. Thank you. Good.